already in place to see those avalanches as they're happening. But what if there was technology that could see them before they happen? New specialist Alex Cabrero joins us live from Little Cottonwood Canyon and says it's no longer just science fiction. Alex? That's right, Dean. You know, Little Cottonwood Canyon here was closed last week while UDOT crews intentionally triggered avalanches. Now, the thinking behind that is if you can control when an avalanche happens, you're not waiting for the unpredictability of Mother Nature. But what if you knew an avalanche was going to happen 60 seconds before it actually did? Those are old technology. Technology sure has changed things. It listens for a sound that we can't hear. Matt McKee, the UDOT avalanche supervisor for Little Cottonwood Canyon, still can't believe how much goes into waiting for snow to slide. It's amazing, you know, the guys that came before me, the, the last generation, they had to wake up and just drive the road and, and crane their necks in the middle of the night and see if anything was happening. Now, ground radars listen for movements. <laughs> and real-time thermal imaging will tell you if intentional detonations are successful. Yes. Yeah. It's important to know that we hit it. This will verify we hit it. Avalanches are about as powerful as Mother Nature gets. Uh, we might need to move. And while UDOT will sometimes close a road because of dangerous conditions, this year the Cottonwoods, Logan Canyon, and even Powder Mountain Road have been closed because of avalanches. It's about safety. If we hadn't closed it down, they, they could have killed people. An avalanche in Italy killed 29 people last week. As rescuers were looking for survivors, a Utah company was in place to monitor any more avalanches. This radar is, is able to detect avalanches up to about two kilometers, which is about a mile and a half. Spotter RF out of Orem has created a radar they say can detect an avalanche up to 60 seconds before it starts. Enough time to close crossing arms on roads or warn people what's about to happen. Their system is already being used in Europe. They have detected successfully thousands of avalanches. And they hope to put it to use here in Utah. It's a perfect fit for especially places like Utah where we have a lot of avalanches occur. Yeah, now this radar system, it reminds me of what they have up at Kennecott where workers are evacuated whenever that movement in the earth is detected. Now they had a big slide at Kennecott four years ago, but no one was injured or died because of those ground radars. The thinking behind this avalanche radar system is basically the same thing. Deanie? So with that science, along with common sense, we could save a lot of lives. Be safe out there, absolutely. Yeah, Alex, mm -hmm. thanks.